Ed Aki with a meteorologist Chris Nallen once again from the garden. Hopefully your summer's going far and hopefully your garden is thriving. In some cases it's thriving here, but not in all cases because believe it or not, we've had so many hot days, so many days without rain, that the garden is starting to be a little less productive in spots, but still looking good, don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna tell you how heat and lack of rain can impact the garden in a couple of ways. Take a look. All right, so here we're gonna start out with the green beans or string beans. As you can see, some of them have actually fallen off and turned a little bit yellow, but most of them, again, I think there's gonna be a second wave of more produ uh, production here as we head deeper into the summer with some rainy days and a little bit cooler temperatures. Now, what I'm getting excited about here is the broccoli that will eventually thrive after I did harvest some. There are new ones that are in the process of growing. They're very small right now, but they tend to love some cooler weather. Weather. So I think we're going to see a good round of broccoli come uh, September. The other thing is peppers, well, they're loving the heat. The heat is uh, everything to them. They're green, they're thriving, they continue to grow very nicely, and so do those herbs. Tomatoes doing pretty good overall. In fact, I have plenty of tomatoes. I picked quite a few. There's a few red ones in there now. They're big, they're juicy, they're looking good. However, I did discover a couple of pests, some of which have eaten the top of these plants. I've removed them. They were very big worms uh, that blend a camouflage pretty much into the tomato plant. You got to watch those and they will eat away at the plant. Now, the thing about pests is that when we have long prolonged periods of very warm, dry air, that allows pests to actually multiply a bit faster. So that's where heat is a negative versus having a nice balance between some cooler weather, rainy weather, and also heat. Uh, the cucumbers are still doing great. You can see there's several of them. I have about five or six in the refrigerator. However, again, with the lack of rain and heat some of them have browned a little bit but again i'm not worried about this this is typical however it does happen uh, especially when you have an organic garden like mine uh, they work a little bit harder because i really don't put much in there however again too much rain not good too little rain also not good however on the plus side garden is still doing well and uh, that's what i'm thankful for and i'm looking forward to new growth as we head into the second half of the summer 